This is a Shibuya Tyson exclusive interview on Pack Boy Rail. It's my homie T Mac. I'm here today with Luchi V. Hey, gang. And NV. Yes, and the How y'all ladies feeling today? We good, we, we good, we good. We good. Like, oh, shall we tea? <laughs> see, I see y'all ladies looking very beautiful today. You know? Thank you, thank you. We just came from the gym. I yes. just came from the gym working out. Okay, okay so. Bitches what? be like, I work out like this. Right. Okay, okay. Since you're talking about the gym, so what you do? Do you work out before you make your song or do you get pumped up? Hell no, right? <laughs> we'll be chatting right. I'll be in the booth, I'm a breakfast cell, getting a Norbit flow, like, though. But, no, but no. you know what I'm saying? We pretty much work out because, you know, when you in the entertainment, being sexy and, you know what I'm saying, having your body right is a big part of your career because, you know what I'm saying, females got to want to be you, dudes got to want to do you, you know what I'm saying? So, basically, that's what it is. And, you know what I'm saying, we want to feel confident in ourselves in general. So. It's a part of our everyday schedule. Yeah, honestly. we in the gym like, five we, days a week, five period. days a week, period. Not no today. excuses, well, but we got to go mm -hmm. early, middle of the day. Late period. So how long do you exercise during the day? Um, like two, usually between two and three hours, depending oh. on like if we have some like you know what I'm saying, an interview or something afterwards, and we might gotta cut it short. But if we don't really have much to do we for the rest of the day, yeah, we'll be in there for an hour. Swimming, all that shit, uh -huh. cardio, weights, everything. Mm -hmm. We we'll put on our uh, we we'll throw on even some little stripper heels and go in the room mm -hmm. and press the dance moves. Yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> we we'll be going crazy. Okay, okay, so. New TV, you know, it's a new year, it's 2017. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you, what project you working on right now, what you got dropping right now, we can't wait, what's up? Well, as y'all know, on Halloween, I just dropped my second EP, Killer Season, uh, all produced by Kings of, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Complex Studios, which is where we at right now, which is where I record all of my projects. This is my home studio, this is my family right here, so. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Zoe, he working out here at King's Up, and he produced the whole entire project, everything on there. And we're about to work on a re-release with three extra bonus songs. I got two extra features on there. The first one, I only have Sasha go out on there because I wanted to focus on my sound, but we added three new bonus songs on there. We got two more features, and the re-release going to be on iTunes, Tidal, Spotify, all of that. So that's what's coming this first quarter, 2017. But then after that, you know what I'm saying? Me and Envy working on our collab mixtape or whatever. Y'all know I just taught her how to rap and she going crazy, period. So yeah. pretty much that's what we doing for 2017. It's like about us being a team and us building each other up. You know what I'm saying? She already super cracking in the dance world. I'm already super cracking in the music world. So we basically combining the two for 2017 to make it just be like, cut that out like all up in y'all face. Period. On the dancing side, on the rapper side, on the modeling side, on the twerking side, on whatever side we in y'all face all 2017, period. We're taking every way. Period. So how did you get your first break at being an entertainer? Um, really, uh, the studio we're recording at right now, Mur Murphy put me on my very first show when I very first started rapping, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, I can't believe you can work right in front of the camera. Ooh, I didn't work. Yeah. Your little, uh, banana <laughs> but anyways, I got my first break, you know what I'm saying, for Merck Murphy, he put me on my first show, you know what I'm saying, and ever since then, when people first saw me rap, you know, when they see my image, they think I'm finna be coming on there on some cute, pop, little lame shit, and you know what I'm saying, when people heard my aggression and, you know what I'm saying, saw my stage presence, it was over with, and I've been doing shows ever since, I've been, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people have been wanting to fuck with me ever since, it was like, you can't deny talent, so. Alright, so what year did you start? Mm, I started taking rapping seriously, probably like not until like 2010, 2011 ish, because before that, I kind of like I didn't have all the resources, you know what I'm saying? I had just moved to Chicago and all of that, so I didn't really know anybody. I didn't have a studio I could go to and all of that. And I didn't really think, like, okay, I'm finna just take off from this. But it was just like when I started releasing videos and putting my songs online, it was like the response was getting crazy. So I'm like, okay, I'm really finna do this. So that's when I started investing in my career and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Getting the blog placements and all of that. Okay. All right, all right. My question is, <laughs> what made you go on Bear Girls Club? What made you decide to make that move like this one? Um, I mean, I've been watching the Bad Girls Club since the very first season, and I wasn't old enough to get on there. And I was just like, I can go on there and do that. I can go on there and beat bitches up too, like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so like. Really, what, when I went on there, my intentions was basically like, okay, number one, there has not been any for real bad girl on there that was real in the thousand. So I'm like, I'm finna go show them that. Number two, I'm like, this is a chance for me to, you know what I'm saying, expand my 
the music career to open up a whole, you know what I'm saying? Because I was already cracking in Chicago, but I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I need to be, more people need to know what's good. So that was my intentions, but I ended up getting on there, you know what I'm saying? Bitches was trying me, and you already know, you can't try me too many times before I bust you on your shit, so that's what it was. Right, right, right. Okay, smooth, smooth. So you got any upcoming shows coming? Like anything popping off? Yeah? Yep, all this month, pretty much. We booked all the way up, like all right. this month. Um, my next show coming up is on the, wait, what's the 19th? We got something on the 19th, right? The 19th Thursday, we're going to be at Doggy Inn out west, getting a bus in. The 21st, that Gary, uh, Indiana. Yeah, Gary Indiana at um, Backstage on Broadway. The twenty what twenty six we somewhere else I don't we twenty seven uh y'all got us somewhere to be in that right so I'm gonna have we we <laughs> booked up right. all this month me and her right. together so follow our Instagram page just Gucci being Queen and be like we we gonna be a little bit everywhere but make sure y'all come to Gary Indiana yeah, on the twenty first because that show is about to be where we finna just go psycho at like <laughs> she doing a special stage set if y'all never saw her do her thing with the butt you know what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 be in attendance and then I'm gonna do my thing on the stage y'all gonna perform with me as well when I rap so yeah it's gonna be on 21st backstage on Broadway in Gary Indiana 21 plus yeah. tickets $10 at the door with the password Broadway come see us because it's gonna be a lituation no seriously <laughs> y'all gotta come too for real all right we're gonna come and support y'all most definitely no, you know, for real bring the that. cameras out all that you know what I'm saying so right. Queen Envy so what's this thing with the bus so what you doing <laughs> Explain your set. Okay, well, pretty much, I am like, I guess you can say, well, I call myself uh, Chicago's Teddy Vixen, okay. but I feel like on the thicker tip, nobody can compare to how I move, no one can compare to how I dance, and that's how I pretty much got so popular because it's like, you'll look at me and you're like, okay, she a little thick. And I'm busting down the headstands, falling and splits, and going crazy. And they like, whoa, like, when you think she was going, you know, do that. And exactly. <laughs> exactly. For real, people's reactions always be like, uh-uh, like, right? And the, uh, what's the little, uh, ooh, like the cartoon? Like, his ass be busting yes. out, like, cause she be going too psycho, like. Something. And it's, like, exactly how people, like, viewed her rapping and thought she was going to come out and be like, mm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, that's exactly how people do to my dancing, because they thinking, like, oh, she probably finna be the average dancer just go up there shake her butt a little bit but it's like I'm really working I'm really putting on a show you know what I'm saying and, and it's like I only been dancing for um, well I've been dancing my entire life but as far as like the exotic dance world I only been doing that for like three and a half years but I moved very quickly in it because in the be beginning I started investing into my career because I was already a professional dancer prior like she be going crazy with the butt like she be doing stuff with her booty <laughs> that I didn't even know was possible like, I see her set her booty on fire, all types of shit. Like, I'm not even being funny. Like, I be like, what, G? She done squirting fire out her motherfucking cat and shit. I'm like, you gotta teach me, bitch. Teach me. I wanna set my buns on fire. Like, well, I need to toast the buns, too. Like, yeah. Look up. Man, she be okay. going crazy with the butt. Okay. Okay. So, the next question is, since we got the buns set, no fire, and I don't know. So, is right. we gonna get a visual with you, the buns, and then we gonna spin your hot fire and stuff like that. Like, what is your favorite thing to do? Like, what is your favorite thing to do? Like, what is your favorite thing to do? Together. Even when she's not rapping with me and she just doing her dancing thing, we like put on a very, very dope show. Even without setting the buns on fire, like y'all just gotta come out and see on the 21st and Gary at backstage on Broadway. Like we go psycho. But I mean, now that you done put the bug on my ears, we might start practicing the bun thing yeah, and set the, the ass on fire for the 21st because yeah. that's a good idea. So 21st, matter of fact, fuck it. 21st, come see us and Gary. We like asses on fire. Here. <laughs> Pull up, Here. come see it, nigga. Come Here. see the toasted buns. Laugh it at you. It's a lean. Ain't gonna overdo it and burn. Right, right. So another question is, how long y'all been friends? Like, how did y'all meet each other? Like, what was the moment? Like, was y'all little kids playing outside or something? Or? No, Everybody that's so that. that's so crazy. Or Everybody. Was it 
you know, y'all got older, you know, might been grabbing some chips, you know, she might Bella be chips? thirsty, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, like, it's so crazy because everybody thinks we've been best friends for, like, years and we've known each other for right. years, but we actually met while we were both already in the industry. We met at a booking. I was the host for the night. She was the, you know what I'm saying, special dancer for the night doing the exclusive stage set. It was on Halloween. What was that, two years two ago now? Years ago, yeah. so, two years ago, so. And we didn't even automatically start kicking it. It was probably, like, a year and a half later, mm -hmm. and we just randomly went because we kept running to each other in the club, and we all we was both tea, fun. like we was both tea, like we had both tea, we was both tea. Like I just be like, damn, bitch, I need another tea friend. She's like, me right. too, bitch. Right. We I, like, it was so crazy friends. because when we when we met, like not when we met, but when we first ran into each other again after we met, I had just like ended my last best friendship. I was gonna say relationship, but it kind of is like a relationship when you right. best friends with a bitch. I ended my last best friendshipness with another bitch, and it was like I ran to her. She had just moved back to Chicago from being in college and shit, so she wasn't hanging out with nobody. So it was like we seen each other so teed and we just was like linked to each other and it was like literally we hung out one time and never separated for the whole and then we like just started it's like it was almost like a match made because it was like what, what I didn't know about she knew about what she didn't know about I knew about and we was just helping each other and we really like crawling up this this, yeah. this ladder of success yeah, that's what I was saying like as far as like the us taking over for this year it's like you know what I'm saying like she already known in the dancing world I've been slowly you know what I'm saying getting into my sexy shit, you know what I'm saying, doing my video mix and shit like that, so she been helping me on that. As far as, like, the rapping, I been, you know what I'm saying, teaching her how to, you know what I'm saying, do her bars and shit, helping her with her writing, helping her with her delivery and shit like that, so it's just, like, the problem with a lot of females, when you meet in the industry already and you both already established, it becomes, like, competition, you know what I'm saying, don't nobody want to get more attention Bitch to get more attention to you, and you don't want to put the next bitch on because it's a chance she can get on before you and shit like that. But it with us, it's just like she know if I take off on my music before her, we both own, and I know if she, you know what I'm saying, take off on her that shit before me, we both own. So yeah. it's just like it's it's a and we she's really my back, I her, right. Like, we really supportive. Like if she have a shoe, I'm gonna be sitting there getting footage. Mm -hmm. If I got a shoe, she gonna be. It's like okay, yes, I know you gonna like this. It's like we just people be tweaking like, off of that too when they see us like doing that with other. They like damn, y'all got some good friends getting on the switch. Just like that's what we supposed to. Be Doing, right, like, and if she finna do a scene, me and uh, our other, you know, mutual friends gonna run in, fix her up, comb her hair, and they like, damn, is this a crew or is this your friend? It's like, no, this our friend, but right. we wanna make sure she look A1. Right, that's how it's supposed right. to be, though. We really do the same plus, like, 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 you know, period. Right, 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 right. That's real, you know, real, recognized, real, you know. Yes, but that's a lot of things. I see a lot of that stuff going on, you know, with the males, too. They want to hold one back because I don't want to see another one be successful. But I like what y'all doing. I love that working together. That's what it's all about, teamwork. Everybody can eat. Yeah. If you're not greedy, everybody can eat. Yeah. Right, right. So, Lucy, I got a question. Like, have you had, like, any obstacles in your career, like something that made you want to give up on your career, like man, it's too much, like a family passing away, mm. or something. I mean, the only thing that sometimes before in the past that has discouraged me, I felt like a lot of people who weren't as talented as me was getting attention, you know what I'm saying, and shit like that, and getting more opportunities than me. But at the same time, it's like, now I really don't care because I see a lot of the people who was like some come and go type shit. Like, it was a get quick, get this co-sign, and then now we don't know where the fuck you at, or get quick, sign this deal. Now you ain't got shit on the radio right now, I ain't heard of you, and I ain't had this deal, and I ain't had no major co-sign, but I'm still doing shows in motherfucking London, Bahamas, Mexico, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, Everything for them ain't meant for me. And it took me a minute to realize that, like, everybody gonna move at a different pace, you know what I'm saying? When it's my time to really be busting and really be, you know what I'm saying, getting sad. I mean, I don't really give a fuck about getting sad these days, but you know what I'm saying? Independence where that. I need all my moolah. But what I'm saying is, when it's time to get that major cosign or that major push, that's when it's gonna be my time. I can't be looking at what other people are doing and like, damn, what the fuck? Why the fuck they ain't looking at me and I'm the one with the bars, bitch? Like, you know what I'm saying? But like you said, real recognize real and when people in the industry see me and hear me, they like, what the fuck? Like, why ain't nobody snatch you up yet? I used to always tell, like, for real, like, I literally, when I met her, like, you cold as hell. I used to tell her, yeah, like, I'm like, you cold as hell, and I'm not saying that because I'm your best friend, but you're really wrong. Like, I used to always tell her that. <laughs> like, when I met Sway, and when we went to New York, I met Sway, he like, I don't know how anybody snatch you up yet. You go crazy as fuck, like, period. Like, 
You, you kicked the freestyle for him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had rap. You know when you do Sway in the Morning, you yeah. got to rap on that one. So, <laughs> I, I, we went there when we did the WWA shit. You know, I was, you know, like a year ago, I was in that group with the ladies, you know, of WWA and shit. And we did that little tour. We went to New York, you know what I'm saying? We did the Sway in the Morning, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I spit for him and shit. And he like, damn, you fucking fire and shit. So, we had stayed in contact and shit. He write me on Instagram and shit sometimes, like, telling me he fuck with me and shit. So, Sway, shout out to Sway, he cool as fuck. So do you think female rappers from Chicago get enough respect as they should, knowing that it's other female rappers in the game, but none have really hit that spotlight so well they are the face of the industry, so to say? Um, I mean, I feel like it's only a select few female rappers from Chicago who really be like, who, well, I'm saying my personal opinion, who I really feel like be spitting that shit, you know what I'm saying, to make me be like, damn, I couldn't have thought of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's only a select few, like, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, I feel like it's some female rappers in Chicago that got catchy songs, mm -hmm. and they got, like, little catchy shit. They say cool shit to put for your Instagram caption or something, but as far as having flow, delivery, switching your cadence, having bars, knowing how to actually rap, it's only like a few of us. It's only like three, honestly. And I feel like Dreezy getting her recognition because Dreezy got bars. Dreezy not a rap. Dreezy can sing. She got that flow. I feel like Dreezy getting the right recognition because she a good example, you know what I'm saying, for Chicago music. I'm glad it wasn't somebody doing that goofy ass one, two, three rap. You know what I'm saying? Because, no, for real, because when I go out of town and I meet people, they automatically be like, when I say Chicago, they be like, oh, so you finna rap like Chief Keith. And it's just like, no, Dreezy is not the only sound. That's why I was glad Chance started taking off so they could see Chicago got a whole different a wave, people. like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the right. drill shit, it's that chance shit. Then, you know what I'm saying, you got motherfuckers, a lot of people up north that perform with live bands and shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's so much different sounds that come from Chicago. I was so happy that other sounds got the service in, because people thought that drill, drill, drill was all we fucking did, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, I fuck with the reason. She, I feel like she doing good as far as, like, holding it down, as far as, like, the Chicago female scene right now. Um, Tink Ross Hill, too. Um, as far as like the multi talented side, and um, I feel like me, shit. Yeah. But I mean, I'm busting through. Okay. Right. But I mean, I feel like no female can take like that Nikki spot until it's like a bitch that's just like ice fucking cold. She gotta have looks, she gotta have a body, she gotta have bars, like period. And really I feel like it shouldn't, and really I feel like it shouldn't have to be one key female that's hot, like, cause it's not one key nigga that's hot. Right, you right. feel me? Like, but bitches wanna be that one bitch, they wanna be the first lady and they wanna do this, you know what I'm saying? So it's never really gonna be no time soon with multiple females busting at once, but I feel like it should be, you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't have to just be one, like. Right? And that's always has been. Mm -hmm. It's always just one, because females don't like to work together, and then the industry kind of play us against each other and shit, like, well, uh, how do you feel about people comparing you to Nikki, Lucy? It's just like, y'all want me to say something about her, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they make you, you know what I'm saying, start shit with motherfuckers. So, even if I said, like, yeah, I don't really be listening to Iggy Azalea like that, they gonna quote that shit big as hell, like, Lucy B said she hates Iggy Azalea's music, and like you know what I'm saying? It's like, that ain't the fuck I I said, right. but now it gets Elia. She might not have listened to the interview, but now she going off of what the fuck the blog say. Now she don't like me. Now we can't do no songs together. Now it's only I can, it can only be it gets Elia fan or a Lucci fan. It ain't no clap. You know what I'm saying? Like, have you ever been in that situation before where the blogs took something that happened, made it bigger mm, than what it should be? I mean, only like as far as like bad girls club shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I might be on my Periscope drunk or something. They ask me, do I like one of the hoes? And I'll be like, you don't like that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> they go, they got a <laughs> I didn't even know, gee, I didn't even know motherfuckers could steal my snaps and shit. I didn't even fucking know that. I'm all on snap, drunk as hell, capping like, fuck that bitch. I wake up the next morning, my snaps all over the block. I'm like, oh shit, y'all can steal snaps, my nigga? Like, what? But that's like pretty much the only thing, because this was like, I feel like these rap bitches know better than to fucking play with me, especially if you in the city, you know, I'm not hard to find, and neither are you, bitch. So it's just like, I feel like they know better than to fucking play with me, for real. And even if a bitch from Chicago did drop a diss on me, she would never get no response. Like, it's just like, bitch, who are you? Like, the fuck? Um, only way a motherfucker get a response is if it was motherfucking Look Him, Eve, Remy Ma, somebody like that, somebody established, right? And I'll respond to you, but a bitch from up the block? <laughs> bitch, no, sit right. your ass on the corner and fucking relax, that bitch. Right. Like, yeah, it's like a bitch from up the block. I'm not finna sit down and it's like free promo. Write some bars about a bitch I don't give a fuck That's about. Right. Exactly. It's free, free promo. promo. Pay for studio time.
like, right. bitch, I don't give a fuck about, like, hey, no. pay to shoot a video for yeah, a bitch, I don't give a fuck about, like, no, I'm not interested, like, nah. So it's just, like, even if they did twist my shit in the blog and they had to do with another rap bitch, I'd be regular as hell, like, bitch, you know what I'm saying, a regular rap bitch from Chicago, I'd be like, bitch, get your whole thing. Right. Oh, fuck, that shit lame. Right, so my next question, like, who did you listen to as you growing up, like? Um, look him, of course. Every female rapper better say look him, period. Mm -hmm. If not, you fucking lying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> period. Look him, hardcore. I was sneaking, listen to that shit. Like, I used to be scared as hell, listen, because you know the intro to look him, hardcore, how it come on with the fucking, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used to be scared as hell, listen to that shit. I can't believe your mom was gonna bust in. Why am I like, what the fuck you? Oh, <laughs> I used to, I remember I was on punishment one time and my brother snuck and bought me Eve, new Scorpion CD and shit, I was thirsty as fuck. Um, I used to listen to hella run new mom before she got locked up, her mixtapes used to go crazy. Um, when I first was like teaching myself how to actually rap, I listened to a lot of Roxanne Shante, Queen Latifah, Moni Love, um, MC Light was one of my real big influences as far as when I first was starting to learn how to rap. Because I wanted to rap for real. Like, I didn't want to just be coming up with shit. I was like, yeah, I was like, I want to know how to fucking rap. And I used to be feeling like MC Light used to be small as hell. And she'll walk on that stage and command everybody fucking attention regular. Like, no hype man, none of that shit. No extra shit. She'll walk on that by herself and everybody in her face looking at her. So I'm like, I want to be like that. Like, mm -hmm. So that was another thing that made me stand apart when I would be doing these shows. The niggas would have... Forty of they guys on stage, and they're like, yeah, and they're like, yeah, 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 before he, you know what I'm saying, when he was just a little hot boy Wheezy with the cornrows and all that shit. Black was hot, yeah. That was literally when I started fucking with Wayne, like, and I've been obsessed with him ever since because, like, his bars be shit that I, I like people with bars that I, I knew I would have never thought of and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, how did you think of that? And I love his how you could, like, a lot of things that people tell me, like, you could hear, like, my charisma and my personality. When, when you hear my songs and shit, and that's something I learned from Wayne, because like you could tell like, he be teasing you know, his different voices and shit that he do. So Wayne definitely played a big part as far as my music goes. Okay, since you're speaking of bars, you might as well throw this out here. I've been listening to your bars on YouTube. I've been in the mood. But lately, I've been noticing you've been talking about a lot of, a lot of head shoving lately. Like, I mean, shit, that's been since I wear my first rap. I was talking about sitting on niggas' faces, okay, period. Okay. I've been the face rapping. <laughs> what you trying to say? You trying to sign up for a neck appointment or something? No, nah, I'm not trying to sign up. Oh, okay. Because okay. you was in quiet room. Say, pull out the note. Well, I'm gonna say, get your school get ready. No, <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it's that's been I've been about the face city. I've been giving out grease faces for a long time now. I had a party in Chicago some years ago called Grease Face. <laughs> Period. I really did. Like, who I want to get their face greased up today? Hello. Period. But what you what you was getting out there? You just wanted to know, like. Yeah, I wanted to know. You know, since we talking about bars, I wanted to dab the tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I mean, I'm. I want to sit on your face. Like, I mean, I don't. You can keep the sex. Just give me the neck, the neck. You know what I'm saying? That's so, the way you move. Just the same. How do you feel about maybe dating celebrities or people of high status? Um, I mean, niggas. You know what I'm saying? Niggas being our DMs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Celebrities should be in our DMs, but. I, it's not really to me about whether you're a celebrity or you're a regular nigga. It's about how you coming to me and your approach and shit like that. So I'm not opposed to dating a celebrity nigga, but he got to be real nigga and really be rocking and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not opposed to dating a, a normal nigga, but he got to be real and really be rocking. Like, it's not about how much money you got and your status and who you are. It's about if you a real nigga, if you really like me for me, not because of, you know what I'm saying, the glitz and the glam, me being Lucci V and shit like that. Because we run into a lot of groupy ass niggas that just want to say they fuck with Queen Envy and just want to say they fuck with Luchi V, that's firm as hell, like, like you know, nobody wanna, you know what I'm saying, like, so, and even some of them celebrity niggas, I'm not gonna lie, some of y'all favorite rappers is fucking thermed out and, and fanned out, yes, yeah, like, so, like, it's, mm, niggas just be thermed out in, in, in this new generation, really, is what it is, so, I'm really not interested in dating anybody right now, unless you just motherfucking... Stefan or Kel fresh out the motherfucking machine or something. <laughs> 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 cause fuck, like, cause niggas is wild as fuck. 
this generation like and you know the way we carry ourselves and it's like we have like a, like sexual chemistry because we always juking on each other and you know twerking on each other and taking like wow you know internet breaking pictures people like feel like they can come at us like that because of us you know being over sexual sometimes and it's like no calm down because just because we talking about next and all of that don't just hop in the dms like yeah right, so like, bro, if you're gonna sit on my face for real and we like bro you know what i'm saying oh. no like for real that, that, and, and it be no. a messed up approach because it's like okay that's this is why we don't want to talk to y'all because you know when we being a dancer people be thinking like oh yeah <laughs> she gonna fuck and i be looking like you'll be waiting for a very long time sweetheart I, this is just how i get money i perform i'm not a hoe you feel me like i perform and i get money that's what it what it is like that don't mean i'm finna be like yeah so mm -mm. like no that's not right that that's should not be what it lame is. as hell niggas be saying the wildest shit in my dms like the wildest ever. yes very and then sometimes they'll be in my dm first and then if I don't say nothing, they'll go on hers. Or it'd be vice versa, they'll go on hers. And if she don't say nothing, they'll try to become a man. And like, oh, like we ain't oh, best oh, friends like, and shit. On, like, and we be like, gee. And dudes, really, <laughs> like, really, like, and dudes have asked us, like, can we, can I be y'all personal slut? Yeah, they ask all the time, can they be our slut and just Rappers eat us and out and shit? Like, and stuff like gee. That. Okay, what's a little the, bit of everything. Right, I say, gee. Okay, what's the wildest thing somebody that jumped in our inbox was? Oh, gee. God. The what's wildest the, shit was in your shit the yes. other day. Well, when yes. dude asked, he was like, to be by with you or he something was like, like, I want, he was like, I want a friend that I can, um, uh, he said he want to explore his explore his bi bi curious side, oh, and he was no. like, I want them to teach me how to suck cock. Yes, well, he was. Them, yes, he, he was, he was like, I want them to uh, uh, watch me as I ride my first cock, and I want us to get a room uh -huh. with two beds, and I want uh, you to be getting fucked on one, and me to be getting fucked on the other, Tell and we looking, looking at, at each other. other. Yeah. Each other. <laughs> I'm like. to some people online the other day, but you know what I'm saying, they tried to tell me that I should be okay with niggas sending me dick pics and niggas uh -huh. soliciting me for sex because of how I look on Instagram. And I had to tell them, like, okay, I'm shaking my ass on Instagram. I don't see how that give you the, the right to feel like, okay, I can say I want to fuck you. I'm like, because if I'm on Instagram and I'm counting money, that don't make you feel like I owe you money. I'm going to give you money. So how, you, how could you tell me that? I'm like, no, I could be on this motherfucker butt-ass motherfucking naked if I want to. And if I don't put for my caption, 
looking for sex, then you can't, uh, you right. can't tell me I, right. I gotta be cool with you on my inbox talking about some, can I give you some dick? Like, no, I don't get no fuck how I look on the gram. I'm still a lady at the end of the day. This is how I make my money. Motherfuckers pay us to post pictures on the gram every fucking day, and that's what the fuck we gonna do. Like, you can't tell me I gotta be cool with you, you approaching me for sex just because and I look sexy on the gram. And then coming as hell the way they even doing it. It's like, and then even if it was smooth, it's like, no, we not gonna link with you and fuck you. Like, that's dead. Like, don't do that no more. Niggas just playing these days. It's so weird. Like dating is weird these days. That's why we can't date. We don't fuck with no niggas. We don't talk to nobody but each other. Like, you know, you know, like we be niggas. super focused, but every nigga swell like, oh, I know y'all got hella niggas. It might be hella niggas that like us, right? But we not talking to them yeah, It's because it's like everybody approach be so aggressive instead of having the smooth approach. And it's like the aggressiveness be a turn off. And by the time they done fix the shit, we be turned the fuck off. Like, nah, we good. You got some weed or something? We can smoke. Why? Right, because your ass don't blow me. Right. <laughs> Since we're talking about social media, how do you guys feel about all the boxing matches going on? <laughs> how, how, what females would you like to see on the card? Shit, me, pay me to knock one of these hoes out. Fuck you, pay me to knock one of these rap bitches out. Fuck. <laughs> right. Shit, put one of the hoes in the ring with me. Fuck you, bitch. Cool I mean, shit, I think, this, I think it's cool because, you know what I'm saying, like somebody else has said, it's... Hopefully gonna cut down on the shooting because my right. folks gonna have to knock your ass out. But at the end of the day, a lot of niggas can't take getting beat the fuck up on camera. Yeah, and that band, they gotta come back. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's kind of go both ways. But I feel like it's cool. It's fun for the culture. It's something new. It's something funny. You know what I'm saying? It's not really new, but it's something new. You know what I'm saying? For this type of generation, shit. Right, right. And it'll for be rappers cool. to be doing. Yeah, it'll be cool. It'll be cool to see. It was just like basically like celebrity boxing, like how they do celebrity death match or something. Like it's just in real life now. And I feel like shit. A girl. What, who should be on the girl? Hey, y'all know who I want to see in a girl car? Fuck, I want to see Tink and Dreezy fight again. <laughs> this time it need to be on camera. I want to see Tink versus Dreezy on the motherfucking car. Period. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah. Uh, Who else? What other girls? Shit, Remy. Remy versus motherfucking Nikki on the car. That would be Robert, even though I think Remy might I have I was going to say, up. I don't think they're in the same weight class. Little it don't matter what the weight class. Look at some girls, Right, I don't think that's the same way. Nikki booty weigh about as much as Remy whole body, so shit, they in the I same way. Okay. Fuck you mean? Uh, who, who, who's some other girl rappers? Shit. Who can who can Iggy Azalea box? Taylor Swift. Not Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift need to box Miley Cyrus or something. Iggy Azalea. Like, Turkey booty ass. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, motherfucking uh, Mariah Lynn versus uh, <laughs> Iggy Azalea. What you talking about? Who could I box? Who could I box? Feel me? If somebody put 5K on me and 10K, fuck it. 10K me and another bitch. Who y'all? How about a girl, uh, Bad Girls Club? Who asked you one? Yeah, who you bring about the Bad Girls Club? She and I already beat them hoes. Right, we already beat them hoes up. Like, like, I might want some money, you get some more money. I mean, they just, it's so crazy because they low-key just offered me some money to box one of them Bad Girls bitches. Like, they just emailed me that shit, offered me money to box one of them. And it's just like, I don't really, I don't really feel, I don't really see how it would be beneficial to me. Y'all don't to see me beat up multiple bad girl bitches already. <laughs> right, so it's plenty like, of time, so it's like, why? It could be a new, you know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, as far as the music and shit, that's going to be a whole different crowd. Like, I feel like the bad girls club crowd, that's the same crowd I already got on lock right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't really need to be trying to steal that crowd, because I, they ain't, they going to fuck me forever. Like, you know what I'm saying? I did the first motherfucking one million view hit, uh, I don't understand dancing shit on TMZ, E, Hollywood, all that shit. I broke records with that shit, so I'm in bad girls club history already so I mean if they in order for me to get on there and, and fight one of them bitches from the bad girls club again they would have to pay me like a lot of fucking money period because they already know how I'm coming and I got another question like you know if BGC wanted to bring you back and give you your own TV show oh yeah oh yeah I'll do that shit what's your TV show be about like me and her Tweaking out all the way out shit. Probably. I don't even understand what we go through daily. Yeah, it's like every people, everybody that get around us say the same thing. Y'all need to show, y'all need to show. We just need to find a cameraman to follow us around because we be having the wildest shit. Like, when we go on live on Instagram, like, our shit be busting because everybody be like, y'all need to show this shit. So I didn't hit a car on live on accident. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like all, all types of, of shit. Like, like, and I just was close to coming up to us singing songs and shit. Motherfuckers get naked, take their clothes off. This bitch, gee, it just be so much wild ass shit. And I would just say that I was a good driver. I'm like, I could just hit that wound. I was like, oh shit. It would be called, I think I would call like living with Lucian Envy or something like that.
like that, or the Lucian Envy show, or somewhere else should vote, somewhere both of us, because, you know what I'm saying, like I said, we a team, so if they offer me a show by myself, even if it was called the Lucci show, she gonna be the main character on there with me, so, you know what I'm saying, like, it would be based if on I us. If I had a show, it'd be the same way. Go crazy. Oh, no, we go crazy. No, it go crazy. Oh, no, it's not on the least. 
Crazy, I'm so sick that we ain't dropped the shit because it's like at least three songs on that motherfucker that I knew would have been charged, especially the Zay's Hogan one. The Zay's Hogan one, mm -hmm. nutty as hell. So, mm -hmm. what is that? What, it just sitting in the vault? That shit just sitting there. You know, it's about just sitting there. people want to pull other ways instead of putting them together to make it happen. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely some hits on that motherfucker. Like, and I was going crazy, like, on the bars, like, what? <laughs> what? But, I mean, <laughs> shit, we, we coming up with some new shit, and it's just like, shit. At this point, it's just like, if we can't release that shit, I made some cold shit before, bitch, I made some cold shit again. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? All my shit cold. So, you know what I'm saying? The producer, you know what I'm saying? And if we want to if we wanna get another Zaytoven beat and work that motherfucker, we can get a Zaytoven beat. But the thing is, we don't got to be on those Zaytoven beats to go crazy. A lot of motherfuckers need them names and shit like that. But we going to turn up on, if you a motherfucking producer with two followers and your beats go crazy, we can make a hit on your shit regular. Right. Really don't matter, but... The reason why I mentioned them particular songs was because it's just like they went crazy. Yeah, and it's just like <laughs> they went the way crazy. we was doing it, though our format was just like we it was no like cake shit. Like if you on the hook, you don't you don't do no verse. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like the way we did it, though everybody voices matched so perfect for each hook they did. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Each verse was it was just like it was it's come together so perfect. Like like it was certain songs where we all would just agree. Like Sasha gonna sound good on this hook. Lucia sound good on this hook. Chella sound good on this hook. You know what I'm saying? Like. It, it, they just all flow so good to me, like the songs, and it's just like it's saying we couldn't let the people hear them bitches go. Well, she heard a lot of them. <laughs> yes, I was living like, well, I want to do a twerk video to these, right. but it's like it's not even out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So uh, give us the name of a few producers you've been working with and who you like. Um, Kings of is my like them my like my home base. Producers pretty much if I'm if I got a hook or something in my head, I call Zoe first. Kings of I'll be like, Zoe, what up? If I got this hook and he, you know what I'm saying, we go like that, or you know what I'm saying, with Zoe it's kinda just like we really work better when we just do shit on accident. Like he'll just be skimming through shit that's not even completely out here, like a tiny little mm, and he'll skip and I'm like, wait, wait, go back, go back, go back. Yep, fuck with that one. We finna make it hit, period. Mm -hmm. Um, I fuck with Law Beats, who was also out of this studio complex. Um, what the producer I been fucking with? Mm -hmm. I pretty much been fucking with them too, cause I when I, I just completed my last project, like I told you, and so we did the whole entire project. Um, and then before that, my single before that, Shakes with Queen Key, Law had did that. Like, I pretty much be staying in the house, like, you know what I'm saying, Complex, it's my family, and they were always here, so it's like, but a lot of producers been reaching out to me lately, you know what I'm saying, saying they want to fuck with me, um, I had Cicero on the beat, fuck, try to, um, fuck with me, he just sent me some shit, um, Twan Beats, DJ L, uh, said he want to do something with me, y'all know DJ L go crazy, um, and I'm supposed to be doing something with C6 too, so that's a lot of heavy hitters, so. I'm most excited about, you know, the DJ L beat, though, he may call motherfucking hits, period. Yeah, he got some dope, got some dope be? stuff. You know, I've been hearing him over the years. Yeah, know, DJ Hill, DJ L got that turn shit. Mm -hmm. All right, so what's the name? Go build y'all mixtape, y'all drop. What's it gonna be? We don't know what the name yeah. is gonna be. We just know what we want the cover to look like. Yes, we already know what the cover is. Oh, the cover! Oh, y'all ain't even ready for the cover. Like, it's gonna be a lot of skin. We are just gonna mm -hmm. say that the cover <laughs> is just gonna be like. Yeah. We letting everything it's like, come natural. Yeah, it's like, for the, the, how crazy the cover finna be, we gotta have a raw ass name, so we don't wanna rush it, cause when y'all see the cover, y'all finna be like, y'all bitches is wild as hell. Yeah. <laughs> but we, uh, you know what I'm saying, we ain't come up with a name yet, cause it's so crazy, cause DJ Mio is sick of this who even told us to do the project together, cause I told him, we started out, I started out with her rapping just on some like playful shit, like a guy I used to date. Him and his friend rapped on the red ox beat. His friend was a little weak. Right, his friend Sorry. was fucking trash on that. So I'm like, Envy, I'm like, I'm making jokes. So I'm like, Envy, you could have uh, did better than him. I'm like, like shit, I put that nigga on the song for. And then I'm like, gee, let's go keep recording that shit. So I was like, me and the nigga had, me and the nigga had got into it. We fell out of shit. So I'm like, I'm finna blow his ass. I'm finna rap on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how that shit. So I'm, like, I'm finna write some cold shit too on this goofy ass. So I do, I write my verse and shit. We write her verse and shit. And we sent it to DJ Meal Ticket, and he like, why she sound like she really a rapper? <laughs> he like, y'all need to do a project. He was like, y'all doing a project. 
I'm hosting it, period, like, do a project. So he picked out our next beat from Swan Beats, which I video that we dropped champions. And once we did that, and like, people heard her spitting on that, it's just been like, motherfuckers like, hell no, nah, shorty really sound like she been in this shit rapping. So it really started off on some playful shit, us playing around, and now we working on this whole ass project. So we don't even know a name for that shit, though. So it gotta be all the same. I was still. thinking some name like rapping buns or something. Not like rapping buns? <laughs> <laughs> Cover will come and then the way the songs are so far, like we just all I don't even know. We're talking about a lot of things. We only got three so far, right? But who three coming so far? Okay, drill time should come out. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about shout out to your nigga. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we got four songs so far. We're gonna try to aim for like seven-ish for the uh, project. Okay. It sounds dope. Yeah. Hey, our um like our number one song that everybody loves is shout out to your nigga. Yeah. <laughs> it's about you, know what I'm saying, keeping your nigga out our DMs before we sit on their face. Okay, okay. Back it's to the face thing. Yeah, exactly, the face city movie is real. Because it just be like, the girls be mad, but we like, how can you be mad when you need to be mad at your dude? Because he's the one in our DMs. I feel like I need a move like with a bun like DJ Ken. That's, that's like some good grippage for the face rap. Like, <laughs> like, that motherfucking bun. Like, that's like, that's like, Like him. Not the Omarion bun, no, the Not little the little yeah. <laughs> I don't like that, that shit. One. Not that one. I don't like it's that too shit. Too small, you know Yeah, that little baby boom. I got a rag. She like, no. It's like a little blunt or something like, no. Not the little baby blunt <laughs> 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 That shit be looking like a little, what, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really care for that hairstyle. I don't, I don't like that. Like, that shit look kind of gay. Yes, that shit look fruity sooty on Rudy as hell. You like that hairstyle? Uh, I've been not Y'all know we talking about with the look, the tiny How it be fade all around, and then it be like the little boom. This like I know, that's that's around. I, know I, I hate that. Like, I hate it. I be wanting to bitch. It makes you look weak. It don't make you look strong enough as a man. Why are you talking about some with a little ass bun at the top of your head like that? Like, yeah, I don't care fast. I don't know. I guess I'm not feeling a lot of stuff in the industry about fashion, but that's me personally. Yeah, I mean, niggas been doing their dresses on and shit. Yeah, Right, so Lucci V, tell us like which one of your videos the favorite on YouTube that you like the most that you feel like that I like the most? Yeah. Oh shit, I don't know. You feel like that's going crazy. I mean, I'm gonna be going crazy. I'm gonna go crazy, but what? I mean, honestly, down for my beads that just dropped with Sasha Go Hard, that's what's accumulating the most views fast. I feel like everybody fucking with that song. Um, my favorite visual. It's gotta be between Down For My Bees and Intro. Yes. Intro what I dropped I on Halloween because like the scenes on that is just so like going crazy. And you can't even tell where I'm at. Everybody was writing me like, where the fuck was you at, G? Like, <laughs> and it's it's so crazy because motherfuckers don't even be knowing. I be using the same locations over and over again, but I be making them bitches look different. It's different it's lighting at yeah, night, uh -huh. in the daytime, all is gonna look different. Mm -hmm. That should be crazy as hell. Motherfuckers like, G, like, where the fuck was you at? Was you in Chicago? They don't even know I be working with right up the block. Like, what? Right, right. Like, yeah, so it was just an intro and down for my bees. Yeah, it's probably my favorite, favorite visuals. Um, my favorite song of the project probably would be Finessing. If that video go crazy, yeah, it's Yeah, I was too. fucking with that earlier. I was fucking with it. Yeah, Finesse my shit. A lot of niggas love Finesse. Like, cool. a lot of niggas love Finesse and a lot of females love Down For My Bees. So, I clearly this Down For My Bees. But, yeah, um, I feel like as far as the visuals go, Down For My Bees look like a fucking movie. No, it really Which is, like, what I love about that. Like, mm -hmm. that's the look I was going for, too, with the song. Like, that shit look like a for real motion picture. Yeah, bitch. Shout out to Passport Trace. Yeah, when we making Trace, he snapped on my yeah. shit. Shout out to Shasha Go Hard. She snapped yes. on her verse. Yeah. Shout out to this bitch. Yeah, my other bitches that's in the video. Yes, period. Yeah. So what advice can you give to people that's trying to get to the same level that you guys are? Um, or as people that's not getting views yeah. and listening. You gotta stay at it. Yeah. You gotta stay at it and you have to uh karma is really a real life, you know, mm -hmm. bitch. So it's like if you put 
these good vibes out and you really be a good person and you really, you know, do good shit, you gonna get that shit back in return. If you out here snaking people and doing all this and doing all that, that's not the way to make it to the top. Period. Right. And then it's like things is kind of different these days too. It's like everybody rapping right now. Everybody want to be a. It's like nobody is really like I want to be a doctor when I grow up anymore. And nobody's really like I want to be a teacher. Motherfuckers want to be famous. Motherfuckers want to be rappers, actors, models, trappers, car crackers, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So my advice would be invest in your career mm -hmm. like you gonna From have the to beginning. yeah because it's like now when i was coming up it was just like people were so fascinated with my style and my swag shit it wasn't bitches like this i've been doing this crazy hair colors piercings tattoos all shit i've been doing this shit for years before when people used to look at me asking was i gothic and do i be around white people and shit you know what i'm saying before piercings was cool for black people to have that shit before it was cool for black people to be tatted up and all that shit like and before it was okay for black girls to be having color hair without looking ratchet and shit you know what i'm saying i've been doing this so that's how I was getting a lot of views fast because people was like obsessed with my image now it's become a more normal for black people to be tatted and piercings and the bitches wearing colorful hair and shit on the regular now so it's just like you gotta have something to make you stand out or you, you gotta just invest in that shit like you gotta pay instead of buying them new mics you gonna have to pay to get a blog placement you gotta pay to get that studio time you gonna have to pay to get that beat you know what I'm saying instead of buying that new pelly you gonna have to go ahead and pay a street team to post your posters up and shit like that and pay motherfuckers it's just like it costs money right now to do this shit. And that's exactly kind of how I started off or whatever. Because when I told myself that I was going to take, you know, my type of dancing serious, I the first thing I did, I got me some business cards. I got me a professional professional uh, promo video. I got me professional shoots. And I was pushing it on a page that barely had followers. You know, and it was like people saw how I was coming. I wasn't twerking in my kitchen and twerking mm -hmm. in in the living room. I invested. I was like, I'm finna. I was like, first of all, I just came back from college. I was like, so people already gonna be judgmental about that. Like, how she just come from college and she twerking? Cause I want to, and I use that later on in life. You feel me? So I had to, I had to come with a different approach. Like, let me invest early so I can skip over a lot of these steps that these other girls not willing to do. They want to sit up there and buy bundles and buy, okay, yeah, you can buy bundles, but you need to buy this video and you need to buy this promo and you need to buy these business cards and you need to try to get in these magazines and all this and all that to get your face, you know, and good quality shit. No, yes. don't do the... $50 videos just because your guys do it for real like that makes a big difference when people looking at you in the industry If they see you got this boo-boo ass yeah. iPhone looking ass video, but your song go crazy It's really hard to take you serious because it's yeah. like you not taking your craft serious You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like if you if I look on your page and your photo shoot look motherfucking magic photo as hell It's like I'm, I'm not, <laughs> gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna follow you back because I'm like this ain't even a real right. artist You know what I'm saying? Right. Like yeah. and a lot of people they since everybody want to do something they like my guy just bought a camera shit I'm gonna let him do my video. And like, everything no, free right. is not good. Right, no. Because people be tweaking off me turning down free shit a lot of times, but I'm just like, that don't mean it's the best just because it's free. Just because you're saying I'm going to do your video for free don't mean I got to let you do it. Period. Like, I want the best quality of my shit. Like, my song is the best. My, my video shit. I look the best. I look the best. Mm -hmm. Bitch, what you talking about? Like, you know what I'm saying? So stop listening to your motherfucking friends. Stop letting your friends shoot videos of y'all in the shopping carts and goofy ass shit like right. that. Talking about they artistic <laughs> and shit. But right. no. No. Little hobo looking ass. No. Right. Shit. <laughs> Dumb as hell. Right. No. Mm -hmm. So, lately, have any record labels been reaching out to you or anybody from record labels been reaching out to you? Yeah, um, a few people from Def Jam and shit like that been reaching out, but honestly, like, I would only sign a deal if it was just fucking magnificent, you know what I'm saying? Like, because, you know what I'm saying? Look, the Migos just now saying they've been busting a chance, still ain't signing, like, independent. being independent is where it's at right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I've been doing this shit for a lot of years, so I understand how to manage my business and shit like that. Like, a lot of artists and stuff that's doing this shit right now, they have all these views. They don't know about monetizing their YouTube. They don't know about ASCAP being mad, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't got no shit on iTunes and all that shit. They, not, they don't know how to make a profit off this shit. I'm already very busy. Businessman, as far as this industry go, I done been around enough people, so it's just like I kind of really don't need a label, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it's not needed this day, it's not like you know what I'm saying. Back in the day, when a bad heartbeat and shit was busted, you had to get signed to Motown and shit like that, but <laughs> right. 
So it's just like, yeah, a few labels been reaching out, but they ain't been talking about like shit that I feel like is necessary for a bitch like me. Cause it's like, I'm already a put together package. You don't gotta buy me no fans. I got a fan base. You don't gotta buy me no image. I got my motherfucking image. You don't gotta teach me how to rap. You don't gotta, you know what I'm saying? Have nobody write shit for me. I write, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm already put together. So as far as a label go, they better come with something put together. So shit. So besides your best friend, who was your biggest supporter before she came along? Like, is they still supporting you now, or is they kind of acting funny? Who was my biggest supporter? Um, probably my other best friend. My other best friend was my biggest supporter. She was my manager at one point, so okay, okay. yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? My mom now, but at first my mom was like so anti-entertainment shit. She wanted me to just go to school and do some regular so, shit. Man, it was real. She like, go oh, baby. No, it was like my mom didn't really start supporting me until like after like a while after I did the bag or so. Cause when I, I when, when I was auditioning and shit, she was cool, acting like she was with it, like, oh, okay, yeah, okay, that's cool. And then when I made it to the finals, that's when she kind of expressed to me like, I don't really want you to do this. Like when she saw it was getting close to me actually possibly making it, she was kind of like, I don't like that. Like they be on there having sex and fighting and doing that. And I'm just like, you should know me well enough to know I'm gonna carry myself on there like a real bitch and not like a fucking slut cause I'm not like that in real life. Right. You know what I'm saying? So once I made it on the show and shit, she was like, you know, whatever you want to do, I'm do it. But it's like my mom does hair, you know, in the hair salon, there's people in there talking. And when she was seeing people like running up to her, so excited that I, that she was my mama and about my music and all that shit, that's when she was just like, I'm sorry, I should have been supporting this. Like, whatever you want to do, like, you know what I'm saying? She was I understand it's your dream. Like, your dream ain't like my dream to just, you know what I'm saying, do something typical, you know what I'm saying? So now she rocking this shit, like, but shit, her. My other best friend, like, they've been my biggest supporters, for real, because honestly, when I did the bad girl stuff, I lost a lot of friends, like, bitches was hating, bitches was not feeling me, getting all the attention, and traveling, and the spotlight and shit, so a lot of, I lost a lot of friends, like, because it's so crazy, because when you start making moves and shit, people always be like, you, they feel like you finna change and shit, right. and it was just like, since they felt like I was finna change, they changed on me, and I'm just like, the fuck, like, I come to the same hoods I've been coming to. I call the same motherfuckers I've been coming to. Go to the same place I've been coming from. Y'all the ones who's acting funny. Like, motherfuckers was low-key feeling the type of way about they was me jealous. traveling and they shit. Jealous. Like, and they would say stuff to our other homies. Like, well, she thinks she all that because she gets to go out of town all the time. Well, it's like, how I think I'm all that? We've been, y'all been supporting me as I've been working hard to be successful. And now the success is coming. Y'all got a problem with it. I think in my, um, in my casting tape for the Bad Girl Club, I had said some shit like, Basically, like I was the leader of my crew, and I made sure everybody got in free, everybody got VIP, which was facts. Which was facts. Like I didn't make these facts. That's what it was. Like I, I was that. So somebody that I was in my in my crew, she felt the type of way about that, like saying that I should have never said I was a leader of the crew and that I do that. But I'm like, bitch, it's facts. Right. What you mean? And I didn't even know she had a problem with it. She went and told one of our other homies that she was mad about the shit, and I was feeling myself too much from the back of some shit. And I'm just like. That's cool as fuck because if I felt that type of way, some shit, if she said some shit like that and I felt like, I'd be like, gee, you ain't have to say you was the leader. You could have been like, we partners or move. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it was really that serious, I mean, that's dumb to you. If yeah, friends are like, supposed to be able to express stuff. But this my thing, though. Know, this the Bad Girls Club right. cast and tape. This the Bad Girls Club cast and tape. Every bitch, stuff every like bitch that. supposed to say that they top bitch. Was mm -hmm. I supposed to be like, I made a member of a crew and, um, and I had the bottom sometimes. I'm one of the bad bitches. Right? Right? I just need the bad chill. Right, but she should really be on here like no. But it's like regardless though, it's facts though. Like I, I've been, you know what I'm saying, getting into these clubs since I was like underage and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I know all the promoters and shit like that. I know everybody, so it was facts. I was the one hitting lines, making sure we was good, VIP, all of that shit, and then like I was making it up, trying to front my move for TV and then. But I just felt like that was thermos as hell, like. Yeah, that was. And fun. then I have a motherfucker friend got mad saying I was acting too busy because I kept having bookings out of town like <laughs> three times a week and shit. And they yeah. seeing that it's happening, like that's done. And it, it was like that jealousy should be so real. Yeah, it's so lame to say, like it don't never be a time where I get booked and she be all and she don't get booked with me and she be all like. Alright, G, well, whatever. It don't never be like that. She be like, shit, I, I'm finna come I'm with, with you. Yeah, sure, I'm finna come with you. Same thing yeah. for her. Like, I'm finna, I'm finna come with you. Like, it be. Like, if we don't have nothing separate, why would I not come? Damn. Like, 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 <laughs> like I'm coming, shit. Okay. It's like, that's it. Like, people, when we did another interview, people asked us, like, how we how do we stay so close? Like we never get in an argument, we never really fight. It's because it's just like we keep it a hundred. Even if we have to bicker, like no, I feel this or feel that, it don't matter. It'll never be an argument. We always gonna keep it a hundred. Period. I feel like that's the problem. The reason.
reason why the city and every other city kind of fucked up. Like, ain't nobody keeping it real, you feel me? Because right. like, the motherfucker feel a type of way about some shit you do, and they'll try to act like they don't, but then right. deep down inside that shit be conjuring up, conjuring up, conjuring up. It's like that, you just feel like, like okay, this is what it was. Yeah. Like, that be, that be, like, people be scared. Right. Really, like, they want to they wanna have a problem with you, and I say they want to go sub, tweet, and shit like that. Who be ass shit? We should better express ourselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If that's your friend, then exactly. Even if it's not your friend, if something rubbed me the wrong way, like say I, I just met y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like if y'all you had said something to me that I felt I wouldn't have waited till we left and told her like, gee, I did not like the way I would talk to like me and G, you know what I'm saying? I felt kind of offended when you said it's about it's not how what you say, it's how you say it. Right. Now if I was like, nigga, fuck you say that shit, then that's bullshit. But if I'm like, you know, gee, I ain't really feel comfortable with that. Like it's a difference. Like motherfuckers be scared to be cool. They feel like they gotta be tough. They don't wanna look soft and shit like that. I'm gonna fuck. I'm grown as hell. Like right. if I don't like it, I'm gonna say it. Like I don't and like a lot of people, attitude. A lot of people just don't know how to express that. Like. How she was saying, like, nigga, woo. It's like a lot of people really only know how to express themselves that way. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, no, it's it's about how you say something to the person. If you care about, like, okay, I don't want this to turn into an argument, but I'm letting you know that I felt disrespected. You know what I'm saying? It's like, how can you argue with that when I'm just keeping it a thousand? Right. Some shit y'all bitches can't hang with. Feel me? Yeah. That way. <laughs> yeah. 